Ninja unorthodoxy. Often when I'm talking to people in organizations and there's a particular problem that needs solving, often the easiest place to look is to your direct competitors. Like how would our most closest rival solve this particular problem? Or we look at other people on a similar pay grade or in a similar role within the organization and say, how are they doing those things? What are the things that I can, I can copy or emulate from the way that they're doing things? And sometimes I think what that approach misses I mean, I can see totally where it comes from because it's, you know, it's just the most obvious set of role models, right? But like, I think what that approach often misses is the idea of looking at things in a totally different way. So with some kind of problem or some kind of thing that you're working on right now, uh, I just want you to, to encourage you to not think about the way you've done it before, not think about how your competitors might handle this or how other people in your organization might be handling it. But let's think about it in some different ways. So how would a great leader like Nelson Mandela or Gandhi, how would they solve that same problem? How would a really innovative or high-end company um, solve this? So big engineering company, Apple, you know, a real kind of luxury brand, Rolls-Royce, how would they handle that same kind of problem? How would a really budget, no-frills kind of company, one of the no-frills airlines, for example, how would they solve that same problem? How would uh, someone like your mum solve this problem? So how would someone in your family solve this problem? How would a six-year-old solve this problem. And I think just sometimes thinking about things in very different ways, looking at things through lots of different lenses can really open up different ideas, different approaches, and often just more, more efficient ways of doing things because we're often just stuck in the humdrum in the status quo. And we're, we're very set in the way that we think about things. I did a year of productivity experiments where I did things like making decisions by the throw of a dice, only looking at my emails once a week, uh, eating optimum productivity diets and then fasting, all these different things to just see if I change certain elements of how I worked and, and change certain elements of my behavior, what would that mean to the work that I was doing around that? What I found was that even the smallest little thing that you change can make a huge difference just in terms of your perspective, the way you look at things, and actually the efficiency and productivity of what you're doing. So just be aware that you are caught in that status quo. Be, be aware that you are caught in that day to day. So experiment with that, whether that's either tiny little things in the way that you work or something that's a little bit brave and bold that's going to make you stand out within your organization. So just think about how you can do things differently, how you can take inspiration from unusual places and practice a bit of ninja unorthodoxy.